Welcome to IRL Q&A. Joe and I are going to answer your questions that you've given us over the last week. We're pretty excited about it. And stick around at the end because we're going to be asking you guys some questions too. Ooh la la. Oh my. <laughs> so let's jump right in. Vaguely, someone has written to us and he has asked, Nick, why do you hate Joe? When you've lived an entire upbringing with someone, there is no natural state other than hate. Mm. You, you've you experienced too many things together to not hate them. That doesn't mean that our bond isn't strong, but hate is just a, it's a natural occurrence, isn't it? Vaguely has some more questions. Uh, Joe, why are you so lovely, asks Vaguely someone. I mean, it's really the way I, I condition my hair, you know? I uh, I have a very strict regimen for that. Um, I, I take care of my hair and my beard. I, I don't think Vaguely's ever seen your hair. Oh, he's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> when, do, when are we going to play E.T., Nick? Holy shit, I'd love to play E.T. on the show. That would be amazing, right? We can, like, go, we can go dig it up from that, that site that I was buried in, yeah, in like yeah. Arizona or whatever. Yeah. Let's, uh, I think they recovered that, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, so we can, uh, we'll can. we have to look into how we get an Atari capture going. <laughs> We're going to jump over to Radio Red now, who asks a few questions as well. When you first started LPing, did you expect to get this large? I mean, that's a, that's a personal question. I, I don't want to talk about my weight. <laughs> I honestly, maybe no. I but I, I definitely know for me. Like I mean, well, first I don't think we're we're large yet anyway. But I didn't expect we would get this size or this speed. I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah. But I think the thing that's been most surprising, more than the amount of subs, is the amount of people who we consider friends that we talk to yeah. on a regular basis. Which is awesome. It's like, really that's cool. It's been a really different experience. So large in my heart, it, that's what it is. <laughs> and no, I didn't expect it. Do you plan on anything other than LPs? And and the occasional vlog. Yes, definitely. There's a lot of stuff we want to do, but you know, it's like, it's really easy to plan things, a lot harder to execute them and find time to execute them. Yeah, that and is the biggest problem. Like, you know, it's, uh, I mean, we could we could name off a bunch of things that we want to do. We want to do like a D&D &D show. We want mm -hmm. to do different variations on Let's Playing itself. Yep. Um, we want to do some things for other channels, but it's just it's just time and and energy. Yeah. You mentioned that you first created your channel to grow closer as brothers. <laughs> Why Let's Playing? So I, it, the Let's Playing thing just kind of came up as relevant in our lives because we were both watching a bunch of Let's Plays at the time, right? And we were living separately in different states, and we would talk about the Let's Plays. And we also <sighs> falsely believed that doing a Let's Play would be really easy. We were like, dude, it's just talking and playing games. Yeah, we, we do that. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. It's easy. Let's do it. Holy crap, were we wrong. Yeah. But, um, I mean, we love them. We love watching other Let's Players. We, we also like the idea that somebody might find us interesting or funny. So being able to do that to be, you know, if we put smiles on people's faces or whatever, that kind of, you know, cliche stuff to say, then it's super rewarding for us. And uh, so I think, yeah, I think Let's Plays are an easy way for us to do that compared to a lot of other things. What's your favorite fast food joint? Well, I know mine has been said multiple times. It's Taco Bell for sure. <laughs> because I'm a vegetarian and you can get <laughs> anything. <laughs> Beans, no meat. Anything I want to order on the menu, I can get, which is huge. Because there's nowhere else that you can do that. But Joe, let's hear yours, because I don't think we've heard that. Uh, it's pretty easy, but there's not one in Virginia, which is, like, killing me. It's Zaxby's. Oh, okay. Uh, there's, oh my gosh, this crispy chicken sandwich with hot sauce and ranch, which is, like, I could make it anywhere. But they have this perfect buttery toast and... It's the only thing I get there, but it's, it's yeah. I can't choose, I can't bring myself to choose anything else. Moving on to questions from Luke Ellis Island. How did you guys come up with the name? <laughs> this is a fun one for yeah. Joe. <laughs> we, we, God, I'm trying to remember the early iterations. The only one that comes to mind, of course, is Instant Bro Play, which <laughs> we... What a mistake. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we were, I mean, it was, it was one of the things where we were aware how bad it was, but we were like, we need a cheeky name anyhow, and it was like... We were banking on, oh, it's bad, and people will find it funny that it's bad, but we couldn't commit to it. Instant Bro Play was a play off of Instant Replay, mm -hmm. and so you were like, I kind of just like Instant Replay better, and then you added the live. I remember you added the live specifically, mm -hmm. um, and it was just like, yeah, because that doesn't make any sense, but it works. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think the thing that appealed to me ab about the name Instant Replay Live was that it sounded like a name yeah. like it just sounds like the kind of thing that would be the name of a show that plays video games yeah and so it fit nick why haven't we played brawlhalla again luke i don't know That's... and i'm sorry i, I want to play let's play tonight please <laughs> actually i can't do it tonight i can't either <laughs> let's play every night yeah, let's do it sometime though including Definitely tonight soon reach out to me on steam man anyone who wants to actually, game with yeah. me i'm super open to gaming hey um how do you how, luke ellis island asks how do you guys record as in what kind of mic do you use what editing and recording software 
for it. What, what do you use to time the episodes? How do you sync up the audio and the video? And anything else you guys do for recording? <laughs> so this is going to be a long one, uh, but I have. I think we can talk about the whole process. Yeah. So the first thing we do is, <clears throat> I mean, we set up our mics. We each have our own mic. We're in little cardboard boxes with foam inserts so that we can try to improve the sound quality. We still run into some issues with that every now and then. But we run both of those through my PC and an application called Voice Meter. Um, Voice Meter joins the two microphones into one audio track, which we record in Audacity. Mm -hmm. We start off every recording session with some warm-ups just to, like, like conversations just for us, but we are saving them and maybe someday... Maybe one day, the super warm-up special. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But it's just us being goofy and ad-libbing and just putting something out that we can get, like, relaxed. It's really our best material. It probably is. So then we, we take that, uh, we, we stop there and then we, we, you know, we listen to that back, make sure it all sounds good. Then we start the game. Our actual game recording, we use Shadow Play, uh, mostly. Sometimes we use OBS, but mostly we use Shadow Play. Uh, we'll start the audio first, then we'll open the game and we'll say something like audio recording, or video recording, excuse me, begins in three, two, one. Sync it up to that one. That's where the video starts. And we find a spot where we want to begin and we just kick off Welcome to Instant Replay Live. Am I am I missing anything? Anything that yeah, the uh, you use a snowball mic. Oh right, yeah, the types of mics. Yeah, um, my mic is. You don't know. It's uh, it's got a name somewhere he, on there. He got some kind of generic mic off of Amazon that was on a decent sale. Turns out it works great. Yeah, yeah, it's working fine for us. So um, same yeah. one that Crack and Quick Gaming uses. Oh, is it really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I love my snowball. I uh, I'm a big fan of it. I love snow. Phantom Phoenix asks, did you ever show your face in a video? Do you plan to? What are your views on that? So that's really three questions in one. I should have broken that down. It's cool. It's cool. But, I think yeah. I can, because my face has been in a video, but it's a super secret video. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's on our YouTube channel though, right? It's unlisted. It's unlisted. So you'd have to search. You have to... There are ways to do that, but you'd have to know how to get to unlisted videos to yeah. do that. So if you can find it, I'll be impressed. It's, it, it is on our channel. It's just unlisted. I, with, it, with, with putting our faces on videos, I'm actually pretty okay with it. I like the idea of doing it, but it's not the most important thing to us and I know Nick doesn't really care for having our faces on the videos so what's up with that Nick? I I don't want my face to be out there I don't think I have a particularly enjoyable face to look at oh, I always thought it was like you don't want the FBI to like scan your face and yeah, make yeah, robots I've, of you I've lived completely off the grid up to this point <laughs> <laughs> they can replace you with an android Nick yeah uh, no I, I just don't want to put my face out there and I think during a let's play it would be really boring you'd be watching a really like blank slate face with an open mouth hanging and like glassy eyes looking at the screen <laughs> yeah and, and and that would be really boring potentially if we did like skit stuff i would show my face in that but mm. i'm i don't know I'm, I'm less inclined at the moment fair enough cat bunny games asks you have briefly mentioned your mom watched an episode have you gotten any other feedback from your family um the only one i can think of is that when we first posted on facebook that we were doing this thing one of our aunts said yeah finally video games without the stress <laughs> Our family is uh, is tricky with social media. I, I don't. I think it confounds a lot of them. <laughs> Jack Blaze asks, "What are your favorite Futurama episodes?" Oh man, that's a. I know mine. Go ahead, like, shoot yours first. No doubt, the dog episode. Jurassic Park. It's called Jurassic Park. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember the name of the episode, but I, I knew you were gonna say it. And the I dog like, episode is like the one. There's no doubt. It's really high up there. Yeah. Um, I made Rachel cry just telling her about the episode. What? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Just telling her about it before she had seen it. I mean, that ending scene with the, uh, you know, I will wait for you, like, that was, that was hard. Like, it was hard to watch. Uh, so that's definitely up there. I, I'm trying to decide if it's my favorite, though, because, oh man. Um, I mean, gosh, what can I pick outside of that episode? There, there is another one, and maybe I like this one more. The Luck of the Fryrish, which I think is the other, like, saddest episode. Yeah. Uh, it's the one where you, where you, where Fry is, like, competing with his brother for the four-leaf clover, hmm. and then in the future he finds out that, right. like, all these things that were done in Fry's name, it wasn't his brother that stole the name, it was that his brother had named his son yes. after Fry, yeah, and it was, was like, great... oh my god! Basically like... anything that goes back to his family mm -hmm. after he's gone, or, 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 you know, his connections, yeah. those all play in real well. Because they kind Kind of at the beginning of the show, they, they they do a little like fast and loose, like you know he's he's glad he's gone, woohoo, you know all everything yeah. in the past is gone, and then you slowly see that you know he's he's got attachments. Nick SNES or Sega Genesis? It's tough, right? Like I have a very warm place in my heart for both of them. If if you were to ask me, you can only ever play one ever again. You can't ever play any games that were made for the other one. Uh, then I would go Super Nintendo. Yeah, it it was the more important console to me. But I loved Sonic and I loved my Sega Genesis when I had it. Like. 
it was important to me, but Super Nintendo, longer term rewards from Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Joe, are there any plans of having Cool Jake or Classic Jeff on the show? It's in the works. You know, their agents have been working with us, but it's tr- it's, you know, it's not as tricky because they're really busy guys. Uh, they just got so much <laughs> Frankly, cool stuff going on. we can't afford them either. <laughs> I looked at the next question. Nick, what is love? <laughs> love is when you, you want to do something for no personal gain. Hmm. That means you truly love it or the person related to it or whatever it is. When you're after something for no personal gain, you love it. I think it's gets into the interesting territory, though, of, like, there is something selfish about about serving, like, uh, the reward of of love or doing anything kind of just for the for the good of others yeah. or for the good of, you know. I mean, you, you can talk about loving people or loving, uh, you know, at, like, not people, right? Like, loving something you do. Yeah. Loving art. I don't know. But it's, there is something in a weird way it is selfless but self-serving right yeah like well like i love this show i get rewards from it i get mm-hmm. the community and i get the involvement i love drawing but i also love the response that people give me to my drawings when they say hey it looks really cool or you know whatever i love that interaction too but i would still draw if no one ever saw it and i often do yeah okay that's so yeah. i love drawing mm-hmm. i love milk uh, that's my answer <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what was it that hooked you on video games? Boy, I think I played video games because they were there. Like we, my uncles had them, Nick had them. They were in the room. You know, uh, it was the thing to do. And then I think it grew me into a person that prefers escapism over a lot of real experiences. Uh, I like reading. I like watching movies. I like watching TV. I like playing games because it transports me. And um, that would be the thing that I think keeps me hooked to word a different way. Um, because uh, that's 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 yeah that's. It's the, it's the sense of being transported to another place. And so the more immersive the experience, the more I appreciate a video game. Um, we're moving on to Mega Mutant Space Dolphin underscore. What a name. I'm, I know, I'm I love that. it. I love this name, yeah. <laughs> Joe, what was the very first video game you ever played? That's really tough, but I mean, I'm almost certain it was NES. And I I mean, like the earliest things I can think of are like, there was, there was that Zelda game, there was that tennis game. That Zelda game. There was Legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Final Fantasy could be in there, but I feel like it would have been too complex. I don't remember the first game I played. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was just there's a sea of video games that we had. Like, when I came into video games, That's true. I, I had a lot of options. Yeah. And it was kind of awesome. We, one thing we haven't talked about is that we grew up, for the early formative years of our lives at least, with five uncles in the same house, and they are were all into video games. So we ended up just having it. Like, I was born when the NES came out. They got an NES right away. Mm-hmm. By the time I was old enough to understand gaming, we already had a massive library of NES games. We had Ataris. We had um, a Vectrex, which if you're not familiar with that, is just this, like, it's a whole console built in with a TV, and it has little, like, Atari-style graphics games that, that... That's probably the earliest game I remember playing. It might not be the first game I played, but it was... It's, like, the oldest game I remember playing at a very, very young age. And the knob had been broken off of it, so it was just a metal pole sticking out of the joystick and you just had to like hurt your thumb All right. <laughs> to be able to play but it was so worth it <laughs> and uh, yeah so um, I mean we played all kinds of things we just we had everything that, that was out around the time we were young so. it, that was definitely a, a really big fortune in our, in our yeah. early childhood yeah what is your favorite game, Nick? So my favorite game, I've said on the show before, is Morrowind. Mm. It just is an RPG that I was able to get so immersed in and locked into the story, the play style, the world, the beautiful, beautiful world of that game. At the time, nothing else looked like it. It was just so alien and unique because I was already into fantasy. I was already into Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, but everything was always the same. Goblins and wolves and orcs and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. This was like, no, we're going to put completely alien stuff and mix that in with your typical fantasy and you're just going to accept it and I did hard yeah yeah. Uh, I guess you know I have a really hard time choosing it it always ends up being Super Metroid and Mario Legend of the Seven Stars at the top but it's so that's that's almost a dishonest answer because sometimes I feel like Journey is honestly one of the best game experiences I've ever had Um, Mass Effect the first one only for me is way up there it's I playing through that game was amazing and I almost even want to just throw on Dragon Age because it's the same kind of feel those are all games where I feel like in different ways I felt really sucked into the atmosphere and the world of the game um, so yeah I don't have a favorite <laughs> they're all my favorite yeah. so Joe I think you get to ask me the last question from Princess Mashed Potatas Nick if you were stranded in the Andes with Joe and the G-I-R-L's who would you eat first and that's all the time we have for questions today <laughs> <laughs>
That's that's the worst question, Batatas. I'm so mad. You cannot. I'm not letting you off the hook on this. I, well, how how make could you possibly answer that? I let's make it easier for okay, you. Okay, hold on. Let's... Okay. Well, I was gonna throw an answer out. Sure. That I don't know is entirely honest. So I'm gonna say it with the caveat that in the situation I might change my mind. But I would like to say I would let myself starve first. Oh. Because I don't think I could live with it having yeah, killed and eaten one of you. I mean, here's the question though. I'm, she says I'm stranded there with them. Yeah. If one of you dies naturally, that's not, what I was no ask one has me. done anything to you. But if one of you dies naturally, would I eat you? Depends on how long we're stranded there, I guess. Yeah, I think I think when I get starving, I get starving. Yeah. Um, and I but I was gonna ask to make it a little bit trickier if everyone else dies, right? Like yeah, you're in a frozen have to pick wasteland. Which one to eat first? And yeah, they're all like they're all preserved, you know. So you get yeah. you get you get a, you get a couple months worth of of, uh, <laughs> of long pork. I start with Rachel, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I've learned so much about my brother today. <laughs> That's the answer that I wanted to hear. Yeah. All right. All right. Nick's a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Nick, what do you got for the uh, for the audience? Well, basically, we, you've gotten to know us a lot through our videos and through this Q and A and the questions you've asked. We're so happy that you took that interest, and we want to know more about you guys as well. We really want to know, actually, what brings you into, what draws you in to the video game internet culture that has come up over these last decade or so. Mm. You know, we've got Let's Plays, we've got memes, we've got forums to post in. There's so much internet game culture, articles and reviews and trailers and everything else. What is it that draws you in and says, I want to be a part of that community? Because, frankly, we're building a community and that's important to us, but also it's just a, it's just a way to get to know you guys better. Tell us about you. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I know this ran way long. Also want to know if you want to see another one of these, so let that add that to your comments as well. And uh, uh, see you. I'm not gonna say see it. See you on the video. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs>